the new Linksys MX10 Velop AX5300 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi 6 system is a follow-up to the massively successful first-generation Linksys Velop tri-band mesh Wi-Fi system. According to Linksys, there are some new design updates, improved Wi-Fi speed, and some great new features. So please stick around till the end of this video to see the results. Let's do the unboxing and see its contents. The mesh kit comes in two boxes. Each box includes one Wi-Fi 6 node slash router MX5300. Yes, you heard it correct. You get two Wi-Fi mesh routers. We will get back to it in a minute. And each node comes with its power adapter, an ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. The overall packaging is top notch and build quality of the nodes feel premium with excellent finish and product cost $699 at the time of this review. Now let's check out the specs. Linksys Velop MX5300 Wi-Fi 6 nodes are powered by a quad-core CPU running at 2.2GHz, supports AX5300 tri-band Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax mesh system, MU-MIMO, it supports 12 Wi-Fi 6 streams, and both nodes has 1GB WAN port plus 4 1GB LAN ports, and USB 3 connections. So interesting thing like I mentioned before, Linksys Mesh Kit has two nodes slash routers labeled MX5300. So any one of the nodes can be used as a router and another node can be set up as satellite. Which is very interesting because both nodes are equipped with 1 gig WAN port. So if your house or office is wired for it, you can connect each node to internet hardwired so you can experience faster internet over Wi-Fi wherever the nodes reside. Let's talk about the design and features. The new Linksys MX Velo Wi-Fi 6 has very similar design and look as its previous generation model. But the overall body dimensions are different. The newer model is a little taller, wider, bulkier and heavier than the previous model. The new design has a lot of ventilation on top and bottom to keep the powerful hardware temperature under control. The new Velo Wi-Fi 6 mesh is equipped with 4 gigabit ethernet ports and a USB 3 port so you can easily connect to shared storage devices. The Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh uses OFDMA technology to organize the data to talk to your smart home, streaming and gaming devices while simultaneously reducing lag up to 75%. With MU-MIMO, multiple users can access a router simultaneously without any decrease in bandwidth, which means you can connect more devices than ever before. It increases Wi-Fi data rates by up to 60% to enjoy lag-free online gaming, 4K and even 8K streaming. The Linksys Velo Wi-Fi 6 BSS coloring technology eliminates interference from nearby Wi-Fi networks. So you always have a strong clear signals for all your devices, which minimizes signal interference for stronger, more reliable Wi-Fi coverage. Linksys MX10 Velo Wi-Fi 6 mesh was very easy to set up. All you have to do is download Linksys app to your Android or iOS device. Connect Wi-Fi router to your modem or if you have Fios you can connect directly to your Ethernet cable. Then just follow the instructions in the app to complete the setup. Or you can set up using your web browser. Linksys Wi-Fi 6 mesh setup has a very clean interface. You have an option to use either basic settings or choose advanced settings to configure the system. So we are going to go over the settings very quickly to see what are the available options. On the main screen we have router information, internet information, wireless settings, guest access, device list, parental controls, and external storage information. On the left hand column under smart Wi-Fi tools, you can select device list information, guest access, parental controls, device prioritization, you can do a speed check, external storage information as well. Then under router settings, you have connectivity option, troubleshooting option, Wi-Fi settings, and finally security settings. But you don't have to set up all these settings if you're not a power user. You can leave everything to default, or you can use Linksys app to complete the whole process quite fast. And to be honest, we use Linksys app to set up mesh network, and we highly recommend it to use app to complete the setup. Now let's do some performance and speed test. So we place the Linksys MX Wallop Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it, and it is in the lowest part of the house. We also place Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 satellite on the second floor of the house and configure the Wi-Fi 6 mesh network. Also for this test we are using iPhone XS Max. So I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different parts of the house and floors 
to see how well it performs in terms of speed and coverage. We will also perform 2.4 gigabits per second backhaul Wi-Fi performance test by transferring 6 GB file over backhaul. So let's get started. Okay, so here as you can see on the phone screen, we have Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh named Linksys 6 and for reference Wi-Fi name Batman is Netgear Orbi AC3000 mesh Wi-Fi setup. I have 100 by 100 megabits per second Verizon Fios connection and standing right next to the Wi-Fi router, I'm getting full speed, which is great confirming the Wi-Fi router is working properly. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the router in the basement with couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router and the phone. I have so far solid Wi-Fi connection and still excellent Wi-Fi speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a third Wi-Fi speed and connection test. Now I am standing right next to the Linksys Wi-Fi 6 satellite on the second floor of the house and Wi-Fi connection is still strong with excellent 100% Wi-Fi speed. Now I am moved to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi router and 30 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 satellite. Here we still have great excellent Wi-Fi signals with excellent 100% Wi-Fi speed. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi router and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 satellite. Here again we still have excellent Wi-Fi signals with excellent 100% Wi-Fi speed. Now let's move to the second floor of the house. Here we have two floors and few walls between the Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 router and one floor and few walls between the Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 satellite and the phone. Again here we have 100% excellent signal strength with 100% excellent Wi-Fi speed. Now we are going to do a 2.4 gigabits backhaul Wi-Fi speed test. In this test we have our local NAS device connect to Linksys MX Velop Wi-Fi 6 router via Ethernet and our desktop is connected to Velop Wi-Fi 6 satellite via Ethernet as well. In this test, we are going to transfer close to 6 GB of file over 2.4 gigabits per second backhaul Wi-Fi connection. So as you can see, we are getting 80 megabytes per second transfer speed and the reason we are not getting full 2.4 gigabits per second because the NICs on both router and satellite are 1 gig and that is a limiting factor here. But overall excellent results. So for the final test, we connected our Lenovo laptop with Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 wireless card and was able to connect with speed up to 1.2 gigabits per second Wi-Fi connection. So we tried to change the 5 GHz channel to 160 MHz, but Linksys app won't allow you to change settings, which is kind of frustrating. So we are hoping it auto-select correct settings for Wi-Fi 6 devices. The Linksys MX10 Velop Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6 mesh router provides 4 times the network capacity of Wi-Fi 5. It does this by maintaining the 4x4 wireless backhaul of previous generation Linksys Velop mesh routers, but bumped it to Wi-Fi 6 for theoretical link speed of 2.4 gigabits per second compared to 1.73 gigabits per second on the older gen Velop models. Linksys claims that its new mesh router can handle 12 streams at once and support more than 50 connected devices along with enhanced network speed and increased capacity. Linksys Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11 AX is more energy efficient and doesn't drain the battery life of your mobile device nearly as much as the Wi-Fi 5 802.11 AC does. Linksys Velop MX5300 Wi-Fi 6 nodes are powered by quad-core CPU running at 2.2 GHz, supports AX5300 tri-band Wi-Fi 6 802.11 AX mesh system, MU-MIMO, it supports 12 Wi-Fi 6 streams and both nodes has 1 gig WAN port plus 4 1 gig LAN ports and USB 3 connections. The Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh setup is so mind-blowing sophisticated that Linksys has dubbed it the Linksys Wi-Fi 6 system AX5300, calling it the ultimate whole home wireless network. Overall Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh system perform extremely well in this review. Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh system delivers excellent coverage and had no problem covering 5,000 square feet house with good Wi-Fi speed in all areas of the house. So the final question is, should you buy a Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh system? My answer is, if you have Wi-Fi 6 devices and want one of the best future-proof Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in the market and can afford to spend $699 then Linksys Velop Wi-Fi 6 mesh system is a perfect solution for you. 
Let me know what you guys think of the new Linksys Velop MX10 Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.